starts with what's right against your skin. So that would be your long underwear and your layering. And then it works as a system to your next layer, your jacket, and uh, to stay dry with your waterproofing on your jacket and pants. Dress warm, because you can always shed layers or open a jacket up, but when you're too cold, you can't do anything about it. It's important to have good mobility when you're skiing or snowboarding, being able to move around, being active, and being comfortable. I have a, a base layer, um, and then I have, um, and then I have two insulated layers, and then I have uh, my outer jacket, which is wind and waterproof. Sunscreen obviously is a big thing. Uh, water is a massive staying hydrated up here. You don't realize it, but you're dehydrated really quickly when you're running lots of laps like they are. Our bodies are what, are what get us down that track, so it's doing whatever is in our control to, um, to make us go down that track as fast as we can. A proper warm-up is a, an essential part of any ski at ski day. We want, we want to get our muscles warm. A warm muscle is a muscle that can learn, but we also want to get our brains activated. Any little twist can hurt your back or your leg, so I always try to stretch. We'll do a warm-up lap. We'll make sure that they know the speed because it's probably changed from the day before. Once your body's all like warmed up and like your mind's like ready to start doing stuff, there's like a less risk of hurting yourself. Some of us are in the gym before breakfast. Not all of us. I think uh, more of the older athletes are in the gym. Uh, you know, the sport takes a toll on our bodies. Trampolining to handstands to all types of balance just to get our bodies used to being able to save us from awkward situations in the air. I know I might go to a summer camp in Whistler where I can train on the glacier there, but lots of water ramps and trampolining. It's important to get out there and do it safely so you have a long, <laughs> as much skiing, as long life skiing, as much as you can. I always encourage people, especially if you're a beginner, get a lesson. You know, we're talking about jumping off cliffs and building up athletically to those bigger things, learning the mountain environment, learning from a mentor, that's, that's fairly important. Especially for beginner and even intermediate skiers, a good instructor is going to take you out for the day and show you how to ski really efficiently so you're not tired after two runs and you can enjoy the alpine environment on any mountain in any snow conditions right across Canada. Start small, for sure. Just learn on the basics. Just hopping sideways onto a rail, because I know lots of people just go out and just try that and they slip out and it really sucks. I think part of the reason I've never been injured is not, not just soaring myself off of something I wasn't capable of. Small jump, like a small cliff. It's like baby step your way up. Because then once you get to the biggest feature won't feel that big because we've like, done all the progression.